Good afternoon, this is Bruce and uh, welcome to my shop. Um, we're continuing on from the previous uh, video. Uh, we're showing actually the process of how um, we are drilling and tapping. It's a bit shiny there. The noise in the background is my air conditioner and I'm not turning it off. It's uh, close to 40 degrees C outside. So all of these holes, these 250 odd holes, uh, they need to be drilled and tapped and they're quite small, they're M3s, a varying, thick, varying depth depending on the thickness of the material as we go around. So we're doing the first half here and I'll show you the process. Um, as, I, as I mentioned before, we've got, we've got an articulated table uh, on a pivot and we adjust it with these two bottle screws, one on either side here. Uh, adjust it up and down to test it. And the way I'm doing that um, is I'm bringing it so that I can get as close as I can to the actual being perpendicular to the point of the hole. So I'm using this little square and I'm using that to line up the, um, the drill bit in both uh, directions. I'll bring that camera in um, and we'll see how we go with actually showing you a little bit closer. So here we go. Um, so we lined up that way and we also lined it up in, the, in this direction as well. And by adjusting those two bottle screws we've uh, now got um, we've now got that lined up and, and we're about to do these two holes here. So I'm going to get through the process of the one hole. I'm going to go back out again a little bit uh, so you can just see the drill arrangement. That, and the drill is articulated on an arm. I've made it on a, on a swing arm so I can move it around to wherever. Now what do I do? Hopefully the hand's not in the way here. Um, I bring it into position and then I have a high speed and a low speed here. Um, this, is the, this is the speed controller. Um, and here we have a, a switch which uh, lights up the lights and then in the second position it starts it up and we run it and we're drilling the hole so I'll, I'll, I'll just touch on that and then I uh, I'll move it from the speed reading to the depth reading and I'll set that depth reading. we want about 12 millimeters in depth in this particular hole we're putting 10 millimeter screws in but I need that extra bit for the tap for the depth of the tap so we start it up And then I'll change it to the, the depth. And I'll bring that down. And I'm on, I'm on zero. So that allows me now to get up and line that up. To drill it. I'll it a little bit. Give, give it a bit of kerosene. And then I'll drill it again. And as you can see, we're going down in depth. Now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to turn that over to low speed, bring the speed right down, take the drill bit out, um, and put the, the thread tap in. I'll put the thread tap in. Now this has many features on it, and it's uh, it's quite uh, it's quite something. It's a little hobbyist drill uh, that I I bought particularly for this job, and of course it's not on its normal base frame, it's, it's been connected up to the sort of apparatus I've done. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run that tap down a little bit, um, and the main reason is so that I've got a, uh, I'm threading in the same plane as the actual, um, like so I've got that at low speed, get that going, it's going quite slow, and then I'll hit the stop button when um, when she starts to labour. So I'll do that, I'll just release that out, move it aside, and then do the rest of the job 
with the uh, with the hand tap. I'll just move that out a bit further, uh, the other way around. Otherwise, you're cutting my head off here. And so, run that down and pull that the thread tap out, um, and uh, and then do another another run with the thread tap by hand uh, because. Um, you only get a certain amount, and even though this is a spiral flute tap, uh, it's not clearing it completely. We'll give it, we'll give it a blow shot. We'll give it a bit of a squirt, and we'll go back down again and do the rest of the drilling. Uh, sorry, the rest of the tapping. I've made comments on that before that um, I, I do left or right hand, whatever's, whatever suits me. You know, a lot of us machinists are, uh, well, I don't class myself as a machinist, but most of us um, uh, that, that work with these sort of things become ambidextrous through working on lathes and mills and so forth. Um, and I, would, uh, I started off as boiler making originally and, uh, and fitting and turning at school. And, um, and you learn to weld with both hands and so forth. So that's it, we've got that, that tapped out. Now we're going to countersink it. And this takes about three times because this material um, actually packs up inside the, the unit. Um, what the process I'm going through at the moment is to mount everything. I'll go and get a screw. Is, um, is to just get all these, all the drilling and tapping done um, and then we'll come back and revisit it uh, to um, this whole thing will come off so I'll just getting it all so that we're pulling everything down, clamping down as we go uh, each, each area I'm using all sorts of straps and clamps and so forth um, and I'll get all those in and then what we'll do, the process will be, we'll be unscrewed one at a time, we'll countersink it to below depth uh, put, and, and apply that screw. Um, probably before that we'll take this off uh, and clean everything up and when we're ready to uh, reinstall it, we'll also be doing a sealant around it. So there's this half, then there's that half and then there's also some window dressing to go here where the uh, vertical stabiliser adapter plate goes in, uh, sits in along this ridge here. Um, so that's it folks and uh, we'll, um, we'll continue on.